few examples. So the volume is the amount of space occupied by an object. It is measured in cubic units. Uh, it can also be measured in meter units, um, meter cube, centimeter cube. So it depends on the units that you've been given in your question, but it has to be cubic units. So always ensure that your units are correct as you finish your calculation. Generally, the volume of objects is usually based area times height. You notice at that thread as we move on and check different so solid along the different lessons that you're going to be having. But first, you start with the volume of a prism. So a prism is a solid with a uniform cross section. Uh, the volume of a prism with cross section area and length L is usually given as the area of the cross section times length. Let's do an example. So this is the one that is still repeated uh, in the previous slide. So we will start with the area of cross section, which is the area of a triangle. And you can see this area of a triangle, you have been given three sides. If you can remember, we discussed how to calculate the area of a triangle given three sides especially if you notice this triangle is not an equilateral triangle. So we said you look for the perimeter, where the perimeter is you add all the sides, which is 10 plus 13 plus 7. So 10 plus 13 is 23, 23 plus 7 is equal to 13. And then you use that perimeter, so the area is equal to the square root of 30, times 30 minus 10, times 30 minus 13, times 30 minus 7. Go back to the calculation of area of triangles with three sides. We repeated this formula. So the area is going to be the square root of 30 times 20 times 17 times 23. So let's do that. Uh, so 30 times 20 uh, times 17 times 23 gives us 234,600. 234,600. So we get the square root of uh, 234,600, which becomes 484. Point three six. And then remember we said it is the um, this area then times length. So it's supposed to be 484.36 and this is centimeters cubed times the length which is 25. So if you multiply that with 25 you get 12,108.88 centimeters cubed. So that is how you calculate the area, especially of the triangle with three sides. Let's look at another question. So in this case, you see now the triangle that we have now has a an height and a base. So when you calculate the area now, area of the triangle, it's going to be a half base times height. And then volume will be a half base times height times the length. So it's going to be a half times base, which is 6, times height, which is 3, and then length times 10. So by 2, 1, by 2, 3, 3 times 3, 9, 9 times 10, 90, which gives us 90 centimeters cubed. Let's do another example. Find the volume of a regular hexagonal nut of side 5 centimeters and height 3 centimeters. So remember how we had drawn the 3D structure of the hexagon or a polygon. So the height is 3 centimeters. So what you're going to do, you're going to calculate the area of one triangle and then we multiply it by 6 by six because there are 3 triangles. And then the total area we get here, we are going to multiply it by the height. So let's get the area of the triangle. So as you can see, this is an uh, equilateral triangle, 5, 5, 5, and 60. 
So we are going to use the formula a half uh, times 5 times 5 uh, sine 60. So this is the same as a half times 25 sine 60. So when you divide 25 divided by 2, you get 12.5. So this is 12.5 sine 60. So sine 60, if you read from your tables, will give you 0 0.8660, so times 12.5. So 12.5 times um, 8.660 gives us 108.25. And remember, it is centimeters squared. It is squared because it's the area. But remember, we don't we do not only just have one triangle that forms this hexagonal, but six triangles as you can see one, two, three, four, five, six. So you multiply what we've got ten times six to give us um six hundred and forty-nine point five centimeters squared because still it's area so when you take this area this 649.5 and multiply it with the height now remember this is 649.5 centimeters squared times 3 centimeters so when you multiply it by 3 we get 1948.5 but now centimeters cube right let's do another example a steel bar has a shape of a regular hexagonal. So hexagon. So you can see um, this is six sided as well of side two centimeter and eight twenty meters long. Calculate the cross sectional area. So it's just like what we have discussed before, but the only difference our height is different and also the sides are different of the triangle. So this is two centimeters. And since these are six-sided, uh, six if you want to get the angle uh, at the center, it's supposed to, one triangle is supposed to be 360 divided by 6, which gives us 60. So this is 60. So you can go ahead and drop a perpendicular bisector to get, but you notice this will still be 2 centimeters and this will be 2 centimeters. So when you calculate the area, it's going to be a half times 2 times 2 uh, sine 60, which is the same as 2 sine 60. And remember, we said sine 60 is 0 0.88660. So times 2 will give us 0 0.8660 times 2 will give us 1.73, 1.732. And remember, we have 6 of them, so you multiply by 6 to give us 10.392 and then this is the area of the cross section the volume you have to multiply it by the height but the length but remember the length is in meters so we have to convert these centimeters into meters we know 100 centimeters equals to one meter so if you cube it's going to be a thousand centimeters cube uh, squared is equals to one meter squared since our values are in centimeters squared so this is going to give us what about 10.392 uh, it's going to give us zero that is 10.392 divided by a thousand which is going to be uh, 0 0.10, 0 0.010392, and this is meter squared. If we multiply this by 20, so it is 0 0.010392 times 20, supposed to give us 0 0.20784 meter cubed remember this is meter and we know one meter cubed is equals to 1000 kgs and we have been told the mass of in kilograms of the metal bar uh still of one meter cubed of steel weighs 7800 grams so in this case you are not using this unit you are going to say 
In this case, every one meter cube will weigh uh, 7,800 kilograms. But in this case, this is the meter cubes we have, which is 0 0.20784. So how much will that weigh? So it is 0 0.20784 times 7,800. So when you multiply uh, that with 7,800, you get 160. 1621.152 kilograms and that is our answer so basically we have used uh, the volume of um, a prism uh, normally in this case you are using a polygon to tackle a situation this is a word problem so check out more conversion questions on, on the same and also notes on the same uh, in the app. So see you in the next lesson.